What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 1 of our South Korea playthrough in World Cup mode on FIFA 18. And today we have got the group stage here for you. A very difficult group. Sweden, Mexico, and Germany all in here. Korea finished third place in real life after beating Germany on the last day in a game that really didn't matter whatsoever to them. Um, but finishing ahead of Germany of course is nice. But we're going to try and find a way to get at least one better and come out of this group. This is the team we are going to go with as of right now. Except one change. Here we go. I'm going to put Lee Sung Woo on the right hand side here, and the rest should be good to go. Yep, perfect. All right, so this is the team we have got right here with Kim Shun Wook up front, Him Ming Song, and Lee Sung Woo on the wings, and then Ki Sung Young, the old Swansea player. I don't think he plays for Swansea anymore. I think it's Crystal Palace he just moved to, um, sitting at the anchor of midfield. So hopefully we can. Go ahead and find a way to beat Sweden, or at least get ourselves a draw and start off in a relatively okay manner. Sweden beat won this game 1-0 in real life, I believe it was, so hopefully we can uh, win better. That. Let's jump into it. Oh, it's a good ball back. Toivonen. Berg, it's a nice turn from Berg. Forsberg has himself an attempt. And early on here, Sweden get themselves a shot on goal. Ball loop forward to Toivonen, but oh, come on. Let me have that. Is Berg coming back? Oh, um, Berg snuck inside there, and he has an attempt at goal. We really should have taken that away in midfield there. Looks like we're going to enter halftime. Nil-nil with Sweden. It's a very tight game, a very slow game, which I figured it would be, um, especially with the way Sweden play. Um, hopefully we can break them down a little bit. We're having trouble really creating at the moment, but hopefully the second half we can get a little bit more used to the team. And uh, create ourselves a couple chances here. Nicely done. Play back inside. Oh, I didn't even see him. There we go. Out wide. Very good. Now we got playing some one-touch football. Now can I get that ball in? Yes, he can. Anyway, we have an attempt on goal, and it's over the top by Jay Sung. Oh no! It was a great move. Our first really, really good move of the game put us into a nice spot, and I thought that was a goal. He just lifted it up over the bar. Ball up the wing here. It's Roden. Back inside to Toivinen. And Toivinen has an attempt. And he's hit the post. A really good strike from Toivinen. And we escape just a little bit there. Really good strike at goal. Off the post though. And it stays nil-nil. Nicely done. A really great ball up the wing here. Now can we get a cross in? Simwook. That's a good ball back post. And it's a goal. Chacho has given us the lead 65 minutes in i'm not very good with these names forgive me i have to read some of them before i go into them but he scored the goal we've looking to get that cross in and not the exactly the runs i wanted but his run from midfield came really late and at the perfect time if necessary and it's a great header a really good cross in it's a great ball up the line and we have taken the lead one nil in a very crucial game here Nicely done. Can he get that ball out wide? Yes, he can. Ball back in. It's a ball back, and it's 2-0, and just like that, Ki Sung Young has doubled our lead up with 19 minutes to go, and all of a sudden, we are in the driver's seat. Very much in control of this game. <laughs> Very quick 1-2. And we lead 2-0 here. It's a great ball up there, and it's once again good pull back inside but this time no cross just slides it along the floor and Ki Sung Young sitting there and waiting to curl it past the goalkeeper into the net it's 2-0 and all of a sudden three points are looking very very nicely nicely done look at that football here oh it's off the bar smacked right off the bar all of a sudden we're playing really good football as sweden have to push themselves forward there's only 10 minutes left in this game sweden still need two goals to get something from it but we look more likely to get the third a minute and a half to go here and we are as good as done in this game with three points looking to be in the bag not a great pass but it's okay a minute and a half to go it's 2-0 and we are going to start this off with a win which germany did as well which puts us in a spot where a win next game and assuming a germany point at least would put us 
into the final 16. So that's what we're hoping for here. A big old win over Sweden is 2-0. But we're about to play Mexico, who won 2-1 in real life. A late goal from Hing Ming Song got themselves even their goal. It was more of a consolation in the end. So hopefully we can go ahead and grab a win here against Mexico. And it would really put us in a great spot. So let's jump into it. Our Lyon. Oh. Oh, you... Oof, that was not far away at all. Those tricky three penalty takes are difficult to follow sometimes, but it goes just wide. It's Reyes. Oh, Reyes. I'm not sure how he got by there. And Chicharito shot blocked. It's Vela. It's falling back to him. It's Chicharito falling back to him. And it's a really good block. Good save. And we are kind of under the cosh a little bit here. Mexico doing very well the early start here. We've got two minutes before halftime, and I've I don't think I've had a chance yet. They've had a chance or two as going forward. Not a ton of action going on, but it's mostly Mexico as of right now. Here's Lee Young though. Can we get a chance before the break? Ball looped in, and so Chowu comes up and collects, and that's halftime. It's nil-nil. A decent result. Should Germany go ahead and play well? If they were to win their game, a draw here would really put us in a position in that last game to go ahead and get a draw and move on, but um, struggling a little bit here. We're going to need to step it up. Nicely done. Kim Shun Wook. Oh, that's a lovely pass back from Kid Shun Wook, and it's a great save from Ochoa. Look at that ball back from the large striker there in the middle. Just a little back heel into his space, but nothing happened. It, oh, wow, that was cleared off the line. It went past Ochoa. <laughs> his little back heel right there, Heng Ming Song. Jesus, a couple chances. Okay, holding on to it a little bit here. Into some space. Nicely turned, and it's... Wook! Oh, God, that was not far away at all. We've created a couple chances this second half now. And so far, the second half has been mostly dominated by us. But we're getting to a point now where we're going to need to be careful on the break. But we're also going to change our f uh, front three a little bit here. Very good. There we go. That's what we're looking for here. It's can he played in, and it's a lovely ball in, and it's in the back of the net, and it's He Chen, and I believe he's just come on, and this is why we just got that extra dimension going forward. Now we've taken away the height and added a little bit of pace, and we're 70 minutes in, and all of a sudden we're ahead. It's one nil, and on the balance of the second half, we deserve the lead, but probably on the balance of the game, Mexico feel a bit. Uh, after their first half they would have felt they needed a goal after that first half but we've dominated the second half so far and we've got our goal to show for it. it's one nil nice good ball in it's he chan who scored the goal he's come on and made himself a menace can he get a second here and it's a good block it's come back to him and it's two so scored last time out it's two nil and all of a sudden once again just like the sweden game two goals after the 70 minute mark in a really quick succession and it's two nil and we may have put ourselves into the final 16 with that goal right there and he chen who had just come on up front for shin wook has changed this game just given to us a different dynamic going forward and he's scored one and then he really created that one as well but Scholl is the one who finishes it, finishes it off excuse me and we lead 2-0 and very very good stuff and all of a sudden a very very good place a minute to go here come Mexico and they've looped the ball in here and it's come to nothing and we are going to go ahead and collect another three points. This time, after that first half, it would have been very difficult to go ahead and think we were going to go. We were going to grab those three points, but in the end, we do. Two quick goals in the second half. He Chan coming on and really making a huge difference. And hopefully, we can keep it up. We've got Germany to come, and if Germany beats Sweden, we would have gone ahead. Oh, wow, good save from Ochoa. We would have gone ahead and made ourselves a spot in the round of 16 as the ball comes in, and that should be that. I guess not. I'm not going to blow the whistle until it leaves this area. It's a ball across. Chol. Out wide. Park Chu Ho. 
He's offside, surely. It doesn't matter. It's to Ochoa, and that should be that, and it is. It's a 2-0 victory, our second one of the tournament. Two quick goals in the second half. And we are off to a flyer in this group. Much better than I thought we could have done or would have done. And after the first half of the Mexico game, definitely much better than we could have done. Um, but Germany, go ahead and beat Sweden. So that means we are into the round of 16 here. Now, let's take a look at the group stage. Because I believe our group matches up with Brazil's group. Yes, so. Okay, so. Uh, if we were to beat. Does Serbia play? I think this draws all along there. I'm pretty sure Serbia play Brazil. So, dependent on that result, we'll play the. Well, we're gonna hope and pray for Serbia. How about that? I'm not even gonna get into it because of the way that's gonna end up turning out. But we've got Germany, a team that Korea did beat. But um, we're gonna make some substitutions here. We're going to play Chan up front, mainly because I want Wook ready for the second round. And then we can get some players going here. Just get some subs going. Um, just to make... Uh, just to see what we can do. But we've got Germany here. Winner. If I, we win, we top the group. A draw is Germany's. And if Germany win, they top the group. So let's jump into it. We're going to want to win the group, of course. But we also... Well, if we're going to win the group, I kind of want Serbia to finish second. So let's see what happens here. It's going to be a hectic couple of matches. Let's jump into it. Is Draxler. Oh, Draxler with a nice little cut back inside. Draxler. There's no one going to pick him up. Draxler with a couple of fake shots there. It's a good football. And it's back to Muller. And it's a really good save by the Korean goalkeeper there. And Germany threatening early. There's Werner. Back inside to Kadira. Uh, it's a really, really good ball from Chen, and it's Ozil who's on target here. And they thought that center of the pitch is really weird to look at with the white and the red. It's almost like a very light pink and a white. It's very difficult to get caught there. That doesn't stop the quality of that Ozil ball going through. A uh, that Emre Chan ball going through to Ozil. Ozil finishes nicely. It's a great ball through, and this is a, look at this ball. First time, just swirls it around him. Center back nowhere near it in the end. Urzil plays it first time into the back of the net. It's 1-0 Germany. 22 minutes on the clock. And of course this doesn't matter too much. Of course. But we do want to win the group. Center back's doing well though to keep hold of it. And can we break a little bit here? We might be able to. There might be a couple numbers forward. And there's forward to Chan. And Boateng loses him. And uh, Chan not a great effort. That's 68 overall of course. But... He gives us that dimension up front. And in the second and third, hopefully, round, as we go forward in this competition, hopefully him coming off the bench late in games can change us, change it a little bit. And Son making his run here, and it does well. Looped it back post. Oh, what a save from Neuer. And Son, and it's blocked on the line. Oh, that was the perfect opportunity. What a save from Neuer. And then a huge block on the line to keep Germany ahead here. And it's halftime now, and it's 1-0 Germany. And wow, what a chance. What an absolute chance to level this game up. But a great save from Neuer. And a brilliant block on the line after of him and Son's attempt. And wow, it's still 1-0 to Germany. Half... Half of this game still to go, though, of course. We need two goals to top them. A oh, really good tackle by Emre Chan. It's back to Werner. It's a really good save, but it's going to fall back to Arzil, who scored. It's 2-0. Damn it. We were playing well. We were playing well the second half. To end the first half, begin the second half, and then... Bad giveaway. 2-0 Germany. Ozil gets his second of the game. Werner had the attempt and saved. And it just Ozil followed it up. Good attempt. Good save. But Ozil is just there to tap home. Goalie couldn't get back. Defender couldn't get back. And it's 2-0. Our chances of winning the group have pretty much disappeared, unfortunately. But it's a good test for us. We need this kind of game before we get into the knockout stages see where we are against some of these big teams and it's obvious we have a little bit of work to do 
ball forward. It's Arzil. Oh, that's gone by. I have no idea how Cruz kept a hold of that, but Cruz did not put that far wide. Good attempt from him. Ten minutes to go, and we need three goals, really, and it does not look like coming. Good ball forward here, and it's Draxler. Really good ball into the box here, and it's falling back to Arzil who gets his hat trick. <laughs> Fucking Arzil. Oh, my God. An hat, a hat trick for Arzil, who's... Had two just fall back to him, and one he went through on his own. That was a good one. It's a good finish. Decent finish, that one, but... Jesus. We've been... Second best today, to be fair. Been much to say, as you can see by the scoreline, it's 3-0. But we've been second best, but we've also been pretty unlucky today. So, I hope, playing some of the bigger teams, it's not this... Not this bad scoreline wise. It didn't. I don't know if it deserved to be three nil, but they've had much better of the play, of course. But those two goals that Urzo got toward the end there are all a little bit of of luck. Well then. This game can end now. It's 4 0. We're definitely coming second. Oh, we got a foot on that. And he tripped and almost kneed it forward. And Goretzka was right there to just side foot it into the back of the net. <laughs> God. And Urza with the assist, who's got himself a 10.0 rating. And that's it. It's 4 0. And we're going to find out who we play in the round of 16. Hopefully, not Brazil on this showing. We're going to have to step it up. I'd like to get another game in. Maybe against Serbia to avoid whatever, you know, doing this again. As Mexico finished dead last in this group is zero points. Um, we do get Brazil. A uh, bit of a shame, but that's okay. I think. All right, so let's take a look. We got Russia who beat Iran 4-0. France beat Croatia 2-1. Spain beat Uruguay. And Argentina beat Denmark. So Spain, Argentina, and then Russia, France. Our side is Brazil, Korea, England, and Colombia. The other side being Germany, Serbia, Poland, and uh, Belgium there. So it's a pretty even side all around. Lots of good teams all over the place. So we're going to have our work cut out for us in the next episode, guys. But I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.